Hello, this is an exchange student questionnaire. Uh, our exchange students uh, year has been cut short from the coronavirus, so we are looking to preserve some memories and offer some advice to future students to be able to watch. So please introduce yourself, uh, tell me where you're from and what languages do you speak? Okay, my name is Angela, I'm 17 years old and I come from Finland and I speak Finnish. And English. In English. Yeah. Oh, I have to like tell all the languages I speak? Yes. Oh, I'm also half Montenegrin and I speak a little bit of Montenegrin. Also, obviously English and a tiny little bit of Swedish. Um, that's pretty cool. How old were you when you started your exchange year and did you get to celebrate your birthday here? Yes, I was 16 when I came here. Uh, I turned 17 in November. So I did celebrate my birthday here. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, what made you decide to be an exchange student? Did you always know this is something you wanted to do? Um. Yes. Yeah, so I was 10 when I decided I was going to be an exchange student someday. And yeah, since then I'm known. How did you pick your program, like the semester or the full year? Um. Well, when I was 10, I didn't even know that there was the six-month program. So I always just kind of thought that I was going to go for one year, never even, even thought about doing the shorter one because I also wanted to experience like all the holidays and all the seasons here. Okay. Uh, how did you choose the company that you went with? Um, I made like a like plus and minus list of like of all the companies that we have and like the prices and what it, it includes and this organization just seems seemed the best plus they had the New York soft landing camp that I really wanted to do okay um, what were you most excited about uh, before you left your country mm. hmm, probably going to high school okay uh, what were you most nervous about um probably like Will I like my family and will I have like struggles with the family and like friends was also something like I wanted, I was nervous if I would get friends or okay. stuff like that. Um, was there one thing that you packed to come here that you felt like you definitely did not need? Um, probably a lot. I packed, uh, so in Finland, if we have any like parties, like birthday parties and stuff, you always dress up like to like a nicer clothes. So they're like, I don't know how to explain it, but here, like, you can, like, just go in your hoodies and it's, like, more way more chill. So I had, like, a bunch of, like, Fancy. nice, yeah, like, pants and nice clothes that I never, like, wore. Also, uh, I don't know why I brought, like, a lot of tops. Like, you obviously can't wear them at school because of the dress code. I just packed all of them. Not, I didn't really think about it. Uh, can you describe the school's dress code? Like, what what is it like? Yeah, different from yours. Uh, yeah, so we don't have dress code dress code like at all in Finland so here it's pretty much like your jeans cannot be like too ripped and um, you can't show your shoulders you can't wear shorts and you can't sew your belly and yeah something like that okay honestly what was your first thought when you found out you were selected and being placed in Michigan well, first of all, I was really, really happy to find out that I was selected because that was like five days before I had to leave. And um, I remember when I like, I went to look like for the address, like where is it at? <laughs> I see in Michigan. And I, I think I laughed because I, I feel like I always had like, like an inner feeling that I might be going to Michigan because I knew that a lot of exchange students are going to Michigan. And um I don't know, I just thought it was like funny because for a long time I thought I was going to California and Michigan is like right opposite, it's like way more different. But I was also interested to like see. Mm -hmm. um, what surprised you about the state that you didn't like know before you came here? Hmm. The state? Like the weather, the people, the stores? Well, the weather is like was way warmer than I thought it would be because a lot of times people said that Michigan weather is really close to like Finnish weather. But when I came here, it was like really hot in here, like hotter than our summer ever gets. So that was surprising. surprising. Also, like how close the towns are to each other. 
like our towns are so like far away when he here like we can just drive to the next town in like 10 minutes All right uh where did you go to high school at here uh at first i went to litchfield for like five months and then i went to homer uh what was most different about the schools here compared to your school well there's not very many similarities <laughs> um well Mm, in Finland school is way more independent and you are like you have like a lot more like responsibilities it's kind of all on you like if you don't do your work no one really cares but it's gonna cause you troubles like later when here teachers like help you way more and make sure that you do your stuff okay. plus also we don't have any after school activities we don't have any school sports or anything like that so that's a big difference too okay um what class was your favorite here Oh, when I went to Litchfield, my favorite class was uh, senior seminar, and in Homer, it was probably art. Okay. What is a phrase or word that you learned here during your stay that you don't use at home? <laughs> uh, I don't know. What did they say? There's nothing specific that comes to mind that kids say regularly here. No. It's okay. I can't um, think of anything. Okay. Um, in terms of food, what was your favorite here? Um, my favorite food was mac and cheese. And uh, what is the worst thing you feel like you've ate while being here? The worst thing... Well, probably that one time that I ate the school hot dog. <laughs> Probably that one. Um, yeah, oh, and the uh, other time I tried the peanut butter jelly sandwich at school. That was nasty. <laughs> and buttermilk, right? You tried buttermilk. Oh, <laughs> ew, that was bad too. Uh, what food will you miss the most when you return that you can't get at home? Hmm. Well, we can't get the Velveeta mac and cheese, obviously. Um, then I really like the mashed potatoes and the gravy, and we don't have the gravy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you play any sports while you were here? Yes, I played volleyball in Litchfield JV team, and then I started track, which I did for a week. At home? Yeah. Uh, what was your favorite experience like with sports and how would you say like the sports is different than your country or the coaching is different mm, than your country? Well, the coaching was like, well, this, like the sports in general here were way more like strict and serious than I thought they would be. Like these kids are like really committed to the sports that they're doing. And, um, my, was it that was my favorite memory? Did you say yeah. that? Um, probably like the bus rides uh, when we went to the games with the team. What do you think you'll miss most about sports when you return? Do you plan on doing sports at home? Well, I probably will miss like doing sports in general. I think it was good for my body and my mental health uh, doing sports like several times in a week, which I don't do in Finland. And no, I don't think I will do. Well, I go to gym in Finland, but I don't do any team sports because it is different and at this age it's hard to get into any team right um so uh in terms of your american family what town were you placed in like where we live mm -hmm. yeah quincy all right who was your host family um katie and greg chapman and two little girls uh can you describe your host family sorry i forgot to say karina was now too <laughs> Yes, I had a host sister uh, from December. And what was the question now? Uh, can you describe your host family? Um, host family is very chill, very funny. Um, and they're very like active and they like to do a lot of stuff. How did you feel about having two young sisters? Um, I liked it. I was really happy when I found out that I'm going to have um, little host siblings because I like kids and I, yeah. I liked it, but it was also really interesting because I haven't been like living with little kids before.
Uh, do you feel like uh, when you go home, your house is going to be a lot quieter compared to here? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you think you will miss the most about your host family? Mm, probably, like, everything. I don't know. Well, the food my host mom makes and the little kids and just, like, doing stuff together and going to places. Uh, would you like to tell your host family anything? I want to tell them that I appreciate that they picked me and I could have, I could not ask for a better host family. All right. Uh, so when you talk about exchange students, uh, often they talk about unforgettable moments. Uh, so we're going to ask a few questions in regards to those. Uh, did you go on any weekend or day trips with your family? What did you see or do that you won't forget when you return? Yes, we did several trips. Um, we went hiking in Ohio. That was really nice and it was very beautiful there. And that's something I don't do a lot in Finland. Um, we went um, to the water park in the New Year's. New Year's? Uh, and then, like, uh, at fall, we did a lot of camping during the weekends, and that's definitely something that I will always remember, because we don't do that in Finland, and I really like the campground and the people there. Uh, did you have a most embarrassing moment here? Probably way too many. Um, well... I don't know why this comes to my mind, but I remember once, like, at the volleyball game, when, like, I was, like, weighing my thoughts while, like, being in the game, and the ball came straight to my face, <laughs> on my nose, and I was, like, not even trying to play, I was just looking at it, with my mouth open, and then my nose started bleeding, and I <laughs> had to leave the court. <laughs> that, for example. Uh, did you have a scary moment while you were here? Scary moment. Uh, well, I remember, well, one time when we were, well, this was not necessarily, it was kind of funny, but it was kind of scary. Mm, kind of. When we were flocking with the seniors one night, and then there was uh, some guy that kind of got, like, mad about it, and he was, like, calling the cops <laughs> and stuff. That was kind of weird. <gasps> Um, okay. Uh, did you find yourself in any nervous situations? Yeah, probably a lot of times, like, at school, like, doing presenta presentation is, at school was always, like, kind of uncomfortable. Um, yeah, and all my first volleyball games, I was super nervous. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite fast food restaurant? Um... A lot of the fast food restaurants here don't have vegetarian food, but I would say probably Arby's just because they have the uh, fish burger that I like. Yeah. Uh, what would you say about the holidays in the U.S.? Um, they are they're different. I I would say they're more like like car more way more like colorful and like joyful like. There's, for example, Christmas, like, there's much more, like, Christmas decorations and much more, like, being with families, like, and many dinners. It's, like, bigger. It's way bigger. Um, yeah. We're Halloween, too. Like, we have it, but it's, like, here, it's just way more bigger. Uh, is there anything you wish you could have done here that you didn't get the time to do? Um, yes, yeah, a lot of things. Um, prom and graduation or something. I thought that I was gonna participate in. Um, then we had like plans. We had we were we had our s spring break uh, planned, which I was looking forward to. And then I had a trip with my host sister and our friend to like go up north planned, which also didn't happen. Uh, to future students, uh, what is one thing or several things that they should bring with them to the U.S.? Like to pack with them? Yep. Uh, mm, 
I don't know, pack clothes that you can wear at school. <laughs> like, don't pack a bunch of tops and, like, uh, mini shorts. Because you won't need them. Uh, what is a piece of advice you would give them about your host family? Like, for the people that's going to come to this yep, family? Yep, the future, yep. Um, I don't know. Be, like, open-minded, say yes, try everything and just take the best out of the time that you spend with them do you have any advice about your uh little host sisters um uh, hmm. well i don't know um, Maybe sometimes you gotta be a little bit strict with them. Like, if they make your room a mess, you gotta tell them. <laughs> make them clean it. Yeah. Um, does your host mom or dad have any pet peeves or things that drive them crazy that a future student should know about? Um, well, leaving the dishes around. Um, and like, in general, the kitchen. Like, just make sure if you use the kitchen that it stays clean. And like, take your hair out of the shower, <laughs> for example. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the best local music station you would suggest? One hundred three point three. Okay. Um, what were the current events in the country that changed your experience? Um. Well. Obviously, the COVID-19 coronavirus was the biggest thing that, at the end, um, like, stopped all of our programs and made us go home. But other thing that came to my mind was that there was, like, the Trump's impeachment while being here, which was, like, all over the news, and we talked about it a lot at school. Mm -hmm. Um Okay. Also for future students, were there any expenses you were not expecting or things that costed more or less here that you would like to suggest to them? Like their phone, sports equipment, clothes, shoes, prom? Um, yes. Yeah, so what I was not expecting it was the monthly phone bill. In Finland, my phone bill is like $10. And here it was probably close to 50 And that really, really surprised me. Um... With everything else, it's pretty much just about, like, what do you want to do? Like, you can buy a really cheap prom dress, but you can also buy a really expensive one. Mm -hmm. But the phone bill is something that you just gotta buy. Right. Um, what American items like food, bathroom products, or other certain things that you feel like they definitely have to try here? Um... Yeah, well, mac and cheese for sure. Um, and like give it a several tries because I did not like the first mac and cheese I tried here. But like every mac and cheese is different. So you got to try several ones to like actually like it. Um, I don't think I can just try everything. Like if, just try. Okay. Did you have a favorite candy? Um, uh, my favorite candy candy was probably... The Hershey's uh, white chocolate with like cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. That one. All right. If you had to sum up your experience in a few sentences, what would you say? That's a really hard one. Mm. Say. It was funny and emotional. Um, it was a, a roller coaster at times. Like, mentally and but it definitely made me know myself better and grow as a person and do you have any last words that you would like to say um well i, sh I think everyone should do an exchange here if they feel like they might want to do it and they have the chance to do it i think it's really good experience for anyone um and if you go just take the best out of it Say yes, not the stupid ideas though, and just leave.
Thank you, Angela. Thank you.